Hi, welcome to Binary Automation. So in this tutorial, we'll talk about how you can actually configure your, lo your local machine as one of your Azure agent, right? So basically what happens is when you actually create an Azure account, yeah, by default, you do not actually get the free privileges of uh, uh, accessing the free Azure uh, VMs, right? It could be a Linux machine or a Windows Server machines, right? So in that case, uh, you won't be able to build or deploy your projects, right? So in that case, so the other alternative that you can actually do is you can actually configure your local machine as your as as an Azure agent and then add it to the local pool, right? So let's see how you can do it. And and I'll also show you what happens if by default what is the error that you get if you do not configure a a local a local agent, right? And and you depend on the uh, the VMs that you get from Azure, right? So this is the error that you get. This is the pipeline, and one of the I'll show you the pipeline results. So it says that no hosted parallelism has been purchased or granted. To request a free parallelism, please fill out the following form. So this is a form that you need to fill out. And once you do, uh, you know, they'll review it and they'll, they'll grant you a certain, uh, they'll grant you the access to, uh, you know, build and deploy that for a certain duration. Right? But if you want to practice and, and try out different ways of, you know, building a pipeline, you know, build and release pipeline. So it's, it's better that, you configure your local agent, your local machine as an agent. Okay, so let's see how we can do it. So if, to begin with, let's go to project settings, and over there you will have an option of agent pools, right? Within the agent pools, you can go to add pool, and uh, click on the new uh, new over here, and then select the pool type as self-hosted. Okay, and within this, you can actually uh, select the uh, agent pool, right? So for me, uh, I can see the agent pool name as uh, my local pool, my local pool, yeah. Uh, and then I can just do a click on create, and within this, you click on it, and you will be able to see a new agent button, right? So once you click on the new agent button, it will show you that based on what kind of uh, machine you have, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, it will give you a steps of what you. The steps that you need to perform in order to actually configure the your local machine okay so let me click so since i have a windows and uh, 64 bit i'll just click on the download button here i've already downloaded the uh, windows i already downloaded the agent so i'll just start with uh, executing this command so i have to just open my uh, windows powershell in administrative mode yeah so let's start uh, doing it so i have my windows powershell already open right uh, so let's uh, run these commands. So it, this might take probably, uh, yeah, it's already done. So let's go to the C drive. Within the C drive, like you'll have a, a folder called agent and within that, uh, there'll be a couple of uh, executables. I mean, there'll be a couple of uh, Windows uh, command, command scripts, right? Which we can actually see. So if you go to C drive agents, you see this, there are a couple of uh, Windows command scripts. So config run and there are folders like bin and external right so let's see the next of next set of steps that we have to follow right so we just have to run this command here so it says enter the server url so basically your server url is nothing but your URL which which has the uh, which has your organization in it so my organization is binary automation right so I'll just paste this here and enter the authentication so authentication so there's something called personal access token okay so I'll just show you how uh, how we can actually generate the personal access token for authentication so uh, if you go to the uh, if you go to your profile like user settings there's something called personal access token here on your um, azure uh, 
page right so within this personal access token you can so i have already access i have already generated my token okay but I, i'll just show you how we can generate one so on this personal access token page you can click on the new token button and you can you can type something like uh, uh, my my local token something like this okay and you can actually set your expiry like what should be the expiration date so i'm i'm doing something like you know maybe i i i wanted all the way till 2024 march or, or march right so based on your company policies i mean since you are doing it uh, since you are doing it for your local you can just uh, put something right and uh, you can actually define what kind of access you need port build release for example if there if if someone if, if you are doing a release and and you just want to check you know how this access is work so you can just give like something you know read and write and execute or read so based on that uh, you will be able to do those actions okay for now i'm just act putting a full access here and then i'm clicking on create so once you click on the create uh, you can actually uh, it it will gel it will generate a a a, a, a pat access token in in certain uh, you know it's a, it's a long string so i'll just show you how the string is generated So this is the uh, pad access token. Okay, this is a lengthy string which has been generated. So once this, uh, so once you click on OK, and a pop-up will come with this pad string. So just save the string for your future preferences because um, you uh, next time when you want to reconfigure your local agent or you want to remove your uh, uh, local local agent, you can actually uh, you know you can you can save the you can you can take it and then you can just paste it there. But even if it, even if you miss it out you can actually generate a new token so that's not an issue anyway yeah so i'll just uh, i'll be copying this and pasting it here yeah so for now you can actually once you do a click, uh, click on the create button it will just uh, populate that uh, token for you okay and you can you can copy this and you can paste it on your uh, the authentication type which is was asked So basically, you have to enter. You have to click on enter for uh, saying that you know you want you want you want to enter the pad, okay? And then you can uh, paste it. So once you have done, it it will ask for you know the agent pool, right? So for that agent pool, so we have created we already created one agent pool name here, right? So agent pool, uh, this is the agent pool, right? My loc agent pool name, which is the pool name is my local pool. So we can just give the Pool name here is my local pool, yeah. And the enter the agent name. So I'll just give this as the same my my machine name. Okay. So uh, once this is done, it will just try connecting the server and will check the connection. And uh, I'll give all the remaining uh, settings as the default settings. Okay. And another thing that you can do is you can actually configure your agent as a service. So basically, when when your when your machine starts, when it boots, you can you can by default you can configure that agent to run on a startup, right? So you can do all that. For now, I'll just uh, run it as as a like you know uh, from the command prompt when I trigger that uh, run command, it will just start that service. So the next, uh, if you see the next command that I have to run. It will just be this run command. Uh, so if I go to the agent here, to the agent folder, there's something called a run over here. Okay, so I just have to run that. So this is the run dot cmd. So it says connected to the server, listening for job. So it's listening for the. So now it's, it's been connected, and it's trying to listen to that. Uh, it's be so basically your machine is your 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 local machine is acting as a as an as an agent now. So if you just check back to my local pool and then go back go to the agent. So you see this, you're seeing it as online. So had you not run that uh, run command, right? Uh, you you want you wouldn't it would have been offline over here like an orange button but now since you have run that it is uh, on online 
you can even enable it and disable it as well you know so if you if you don't want to use it you can disable it for now i'll enable it okay so that's how you actually do it and uh, basically uh, if you go back to your pipelines now <clears throat> so i've got a basic pipeline uh, set up if i just do the edit pipeline here and uh, so my my so my uh, local pool name was my local pool right it's just a very very basic starter script where it just prints uh, you know something on the on the uh, on screen like say hello world and the other one is also some uh, just an echo statement right so you can actually give a pool name here like my, my local pool and then uh, your whatever your pool name is since our uh, our pool had just had one agent it will just take that agent and 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 run it right so let me just confirm my pool name here my local pool yeah it was my local pool okay so i'll just save it so the moment you save it it will trigger it will trigger your pipeline and you can just see you know uh, how it's been run so if i go to pipeline now I'll just act, give this permit and uh, it'll just so it says status as waiting and then it's it's triggering this job so that's it like if you see this uh, the entire build has been successful so that's how you actually configure your uh, local machine as an azure agent so hope you like the video so if, if there's anything that you want me to cover with respect to the azure pipeline devops pipeline please let me know and uh, yeah please uh, subscribe and like the video thank you